There's something about a sweet tea pitcher on the table, some cornbread in the oven after Sunday. What we know is growing up in a small town with big dreams, and uh, that's what our music sounds like. You always put Jesus first. Something about a pot. I think we write what we know, and we hope that people listen to that, and it's something that they know, that they hear their story in our songs, and that they can sing that and feel like they're singing their story too. That's all we can do is sing what we know and sing our stories and hope people connect to that. Our sound is definitely very harmony driven. Um, that's just a key element of it. Um, it comes from us just growing up singing around the kitchen table at supper time. It just naturally happened and it's just a huge part of our music now. Just come on in, just come on in. I think it's a huge advantage being siblings and in a band because we've grown up being super honest with each other and we are just very natural at figuring out our disagreements. We have um, thick skin too, yeah. like we can take it from each other. We can really take it yeah. and we have aggressive negotiations. Yeah. <laughs> at the root of it all is we love each other, so I yeah. think no matter what happens at the end of the day, we know that we're family and that yeah, we're best ever friends. Change that. Yeah, we're When we're writing for ourselves, it's intentional from the beginning. If we're gonna do a song, it has to be something that is honest and true for us. Um, and so they're usually very personal. Yeah, when we write for each other, it, it's cool too because we know each other so well. We can really help each other express things that are happening in our lives or real stories for us that, that mean something. And it can start with somebody bringing in an idea and just saying, hey, I had this thought. Or someone having, oh, I had this riff or I made this beat on the computer. And it, it always starts differently. But, this, but the, the common factor is it's always something real to us and who we are and, you know, something happening in our lives. When it comes to producing our music, um, pretty much all the time we, we at least have a demo that we've made. So that's the bones of whatever the record ends up being is what we've created uh, just from the ground up. Um, and then w sometimes we'll take that into our producer uh, Byron Gallimore and we'll add live elements, you know, Nashville's got the best players in the world so we'll bring in some of the great studio in instrumentalists that this town has to amplify and take it to another level. But sometimes we'll take the distance ourselves and we'll, we'll finish it on our own and um, if, if, you know, it just depends on the situation. Yeah, and we love working with Byron because he's super, you know, team player and wants to get the best record and really works with us and we, we love, we love yeah. working with him. If you want to know who I am, just come on in, just come on in. Come On In is uh, one of our favorite songs and it's a special song to us. And we wrote it, actually it's one of our oldest songs, it's almost three years old or over three years old now. The song means so much to us because it really tells you so much about us. You know, it's about taking someone back home and showing them what makes you you. And you, you kind of learn a lot of little weird things about us from it. Our EP is our story of growing up in a small town and moving to Nashville and, you know, chasing our big dreams in the big city. And you can really see those stories from our experiences of, of, of all those different phases of our lives kind of shine through in that music. Yeah, I think it shows where we've been, where we are, and where we're headed. <laughs>